Alright, so I use Audacity. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I downloaded this for free. And it's a really cool program to use. Um, really user friendly. And uh, I have not had any troubles at all doing the import and formatting. So, um, you're going to click on File, Import, click Audio. And so it's going to bring you to whatever folder that you're using on your computer. You downloaded drum samples or paid for drum samples. Uh, got a snare collection here. And um, use a. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use natural, and uh, I'm going to go with this one because it's got a pretty, pretty high velocity in it. I can manipulate the levels in it whenever I bring it into the module itself. So this is uh, coming in at a 24 kilohertz. I mean, I'm sorry, it's coming in at a 24 bit, 48,000 kilohertz in a stereo, and for Elisa's command. You want this to be in a 16-bit um, up to a 48 kilohertz file in a mono. So how you're going to do this is if you click this down arrow and you split the stereo to mono, get rid of one of them. Now I'm in a mono. When I have a stereo, I'm in a mono. And then you're going to take your USB card. I should have already had it plugged in. Click on File, Export as a Wave. It's probably going to look a little bit messy, um, but these are the only full four folders that the command module will look at. It's the kit, the record, song, and voice. Your drums are going to go into the voice. And whenever you take your USB card and have it formatted at the command module, um, those folders are going to be created in the module itself. And you'll pull it out and put it into your computer, this is what you're just going to see those four folders. Kit, record, song, and voice. Uh, recordings are the artist is the stuff that uh, if you record yourself doing drumming, um, that's where all of that's going to go in. Um, all your kits that you create are saved here. I have not saved mine on there yet. Um, your song is Songs that you want to play along to, um, mine are in WAV file, and uh, once I hit play for my song, I can play these songs and I can play along with it. And voice is where your tips are going to be in. So it's only so many characters that the command module is going to look at. So I'm going to call this snare uh, dash natural 8 and it's in this format you've got other options here but the only option that you can use is a 16-bit PCM I've already got it in a mono I click it. now I'm done I have a fish
specially made a formatted WAV file that will work with my command module. So the next step is getting it into the module itself. All right, so now that you've got your sample formatted and on your USB card, and no, I do not have my command hooked up to the drum set in a very funny, obvious place because the kit is not here at this location. So I took the module home so that I can program it to work with some songs that we are playing. And in this case, I called it Hill Song. So the USB is in. You are going to go to your menu button. You go down to USB memory, hit enter, sample load, enter, and you scroll down. That is the one that we formatted. And you hit enter, load user to voice. And it's in there. So I've pulled the USB out. And so to assign it to a module, you'll have it on voice. Hit enter. And in this case, it's going to go to the snare. You'll scroll to where, there it is. So very last one is user number 32. Enter. And it's actually assigned already. So that's it, that's all you gotta do.